Mad King Henry VIII. Why was he mad? The existence of England's King Henry VIII unfolds is a regal enigma. A charismatic philanderer who entered into matrimony six times, engaging in flirtations with innumerable ladies-in-waiting, in an era devoid of dependable birth control. He managed to sire merely four offspring who endured infancy. Initially, he exhibited a handsome, robust and reasonably belittling demeanour in the early years of his reign. However, this facade gave way to a bloated, infirm tyrant weighing 300 pounds, whose whimsical behaviour and pervasive paranoia resulted in the demise of several individuals, including two of his wives, Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard. The reign of Henry VIII, spanning from 1509 to 1547, encapsulates a royal narrative that evolved from the sensible and amicable to the tyrannical and intolerant. While historical narratives often attribute this transformation to a jousting accident in 1536, intriguing hypotheses propose alternative explanations. This exploration delves into medical conditions, blood groups and genetic disorders, unravelling the enigma surrounding one of England's most iconic monarchs. Hypothesis 1 lead poisoning from his medications. A significant turning point in Henry's life was a jousting accident in January 1536, which left him unconscious for two hours. Commonly believed to be the catalyst for his drastic personality change, this incident, however, is not the sole focus of scrutiny. Letters from 1534 indicate a subtle shift in Henry's behaviour, intensifying in 1535, a year preceding the accident. The connection between Henry's persistent leg ulcers and the medications prescribed for them becomes a pivotal consideration. Prescriptions for these ulcers often contained high proportions of lead in various forms. The ability of lead to be absorbed through damaged skin, especially relevant to the context of Henry's ongoing treatment, raises the question of whether lead poisoning played a major role in his psychological transformation. Lead absorption, known to affect the brain and contribute to psychiatric problems, presents a compelling hypothesis that challenges the conventional narratives surrounding the king's madness. Hypothesis 2 Royal Paradox and Blood Group Dilemmas Henry VIII's life is a tapestry of contradictions, a womaniser who fathered few surviving children, the pursuit of a male heir, often linked to his break from the Roman Catholic Church in the 1530s, leads to a hypothesis centred on blood groups. Some suggest that Henry's blood group, carrying the rare Kell antigen, clashed with that of his numerous sexual partners, resulting in poor reproductive matches. This Kell positive reproductive pattern is examined through the lens of Henry's surviving children, suggesting a genetic inheritance from Jaquetta of Luxembourg, his maternal great-grandmother. The intricate web of reproductive failures among Jaquetta's male descendants and the survival of females point towards a genetic presence of the Kell phenotype within the family. This blood-related hypothesis provides a novel perspective on the driving forces behind Henry's relentless pursuit of a male heir and the subsequent complications in his marriages. Hypothesis 3. MacLeod Syndrome and Genetic Factors As the king's physical and mental health declined in middle age, another hypothesis emerges. MacLeod Syndrome this genetic disorder affecting Kell positive individuals presents symptoms aligning with Henry's transformation from a vibrant ruler to an ailing tyrant. The weakening of muscles, cognitive impairment resembling dementia, and onset typically between the ages of 30 and 40 provide a compelling argument for reconsidering Henry's mental instability. In contrast to previous theories attributing his condition to syphilis or osteomyelitis, MacLeod syndrome is a comprehensive explanation for Henry's midlife deterioration. 
this genetic disorder opens a new chapter in understanding the complexity of Henry's health, challenging assumptions about his mental and physical well-being during his later years. As debates persist over the multifaceted reasons behind Henry VIII's notorious reputation, historians and researchers endeavour to untangle the historical web. Their pursuit extends to the possibility of exhuming Henry's remains for DNA tests, aiming to provide conclusive evidence that may illuminate the complex interplay of lead poisoning, blood groups and genetic disorders that potentially shaped the destiny of one of England's most iconic monarchs. In the quest for a definitive answer, the exploration highlights the dynamic nature of historical interpretation, where the convergence of medical, genetic and historical perspectives may unlock the secrets of Henry VIII's mysterious transformation. Whether it be the insidious influence of lead, the intricate dance of blood groups, or the genetic underpinnings of MacLeod syndrome, each hypothesis contributes to a nuanced understanding of the complexities surrounding the life and reign of Henry VIII.